Welcome back to Sweetie Pie Pets. Viewer Amy Coomber is asking if I can give her a little advice and some tips on a short video of how to take care of your Sweetie Pie when bringing them home after neuter surgery. Thanks so much for the question, Amy. Today I have with me little Amiko who was just spayed. So it's a little bit different, but it's kind of the same idea. And say hello to Amiko. Say hi, Amiko. She said she would rather look at me than at the camera. <gasps> That's silly, look over there. What is it? What's going on? Look at Daddy. Look at Daddy. No, she wants to look over here. Amiko is a four-year-old female, and she just had spay surgery. Spaying a dog, of course, is a full hysterectomy, so that means her entire uterus was removed. Her surgery was four days ago, and as you can see, she's doing great. So this past weekend, little Amiko was diagnosed with pyometra. Pyometra is an infection in the uterus. What we noticed with her was that she was running a little bit of a fever and she had lost interest in eating and drinking and we had to hand feed her. So we definitely knew she was in some discomfort and had something going on. Took her to the vet and my wonderful vet suspected right away pyometra. After an exam and a series of x-rays, she decided that the best approach would be to spay Amico. So first of all, when you pick up your sweetie pie at the vet after being spayed or neutered, they're likely to be recovering from anesthesia. In Amico's case, she was a little bit groggy and sleepy, which is quite normal. And the clinic that you have them spayed or neutered at will likely want to see her or him walk once they wake up from anesthesia, just to make sure that they're okay before they go home. And it might be a little bit of a wobbly walk, but that's okay, as long as they're walking, they will release them. If possible, it's best to have two people pick up your little sweetie pie from the clinic so that one person can drive and the other one can hold the sweetie pie in their lap. And it's best to be in a soft bed so that you have minimal hands con contacting their body because there's definitely gonna be some tenderness. And when you do go to pick them up, you wanna make sure that you kind of avoid any areas that have been um, going through trauma. So with a female, I wanna avoid touching her belly. So I'm gonna touch her, her chest and her butt. I'm gonna pick her up like this. With a male, you probably wanna avoid the butt area as much as possible because their surgery is a little different. So with a male, I would recommend just picking them up from the chest and then just rest them in your lap on a soft bed for the ride home. I'll just keep turning her around towards the camera. She loves pets. Usually after waking up from anesthesia, your sweetie pie is going to be very sleepy and they might even sleep all the way home and the rest of the day. So you wanna to try to make sure that you have a quiet area set up for your sweetie pie. And the key now is just to let them rest and recover for the remainder of the afternoon and the evening. And if you have other pets, you make sure that they are kept away from your sweetie pie as well. Because she wants privacy. Hi, Miko. She says nobody bother me. Nobody bother me. When they wake up from anesthesia, they may be a little nauseous, so only offer small amounts of food and water that night. And their appetite will probably take a day or two to return. And as always with chihuahuas, you just wanna make sure that they have some calories to avoid hypoglycemia. You can't let them go all day long without food. So just little bites at first, huh? Yes, little bites. Your sweetie pie will like that anyways. Your vet may prescribe medications for pain and maybe an antibiotic to make sure there's no infection. And just make sure to follow the guidelines that your vet gives for the medication. On day two, you can look at the surgical site just to make sure that it all looks healthy. The stitches should all be intact, and sometimes they have internal stitches. In Amiko's case, I can't even see any stitches at all. If you see redness and swelling and discharge, then make sure to contact the vet right away. You may also want to have an e-collar on hand just in case he or she is biting or licking at the incision area. Your sweetie pie may be herself on day two, although some dogs may take a little bit longer to recover. Again, just make sure to keep him or her in a quiet and sanitary location, even if she wants to get up and run around. There's no need to clean or wipe the incision area, and don't give her a bath until her incision is completely healed. Some vets recommend waiting two weeks to get wet. Just leave it alone and let it heal. A lot of your effort will just be to monitor your sweetie pie and give them lots of extra love and attention. She's enjoying that part. The incision will heal on its own over time. And as for feeding her or him, just small bites at first and make sure that she's drinking plenty of water. It's also important to follow all the post-op instructions which your vet should send home with your sweetie pie. If all goes well, your sweetie pie should return to normal activities within about two weeks. The first few days are the most critical period. So just monitor him or her and keep her isolated in a safe place. And if there's any redness or swelling or signs of infection, contact your veterinarian immediately. 
And don't forget to keep calm. Your Chihuahua reads your energy and will reflect your energy. So be gentle, loving, and calm. Reassure him or her that everything is all right and she will truly respond to her mommy or daddy. And with Amiko, considering her pyometra, her spaying surgery was not the norm. She had an infection that needed to be taken into consideration during the surgery, but she's doing great so far. With most dogs, spay or neuter surgery is fairly routine and complications are pretty rare. Above all, follow your trusted veterinarian's advice for a quick recovery. Thanks so much for the question, Amy, and thanks everyone for watching. We'll see you guys next time on Sweetie Pie Pets. Bye-bye.